What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris. With me, as always, is my buddy, Mike. What's going on, Chris? A little Walking Dead uh, talk today, right? Walking Dead talk. We're talking The Walking Dead. I used to have a show on uh, YouTube that I used to do called Talking The Walking Dead. Anyway, guys, what's up? We are going to talk about what we expect from episode 100. 100 episodes of no, The Walking it. Dead. And uh, so we just wanted a quick little video and just, uh, I don't know, just talk about it. it it's, it's on It's on coming up this weekend. And uh, yep, so this is definitely dating this this <laughs> video. Uh, Mikey, what do we want to talk about, man? What do you got? What's on your mind, man? What do you think? Well, I posed this this idea to you uh, a couple days ago. I just wanted, you know, I'm really excited to get uh, getting back into The Walking Dead. And my expectations are, are super high um, for this season. I'm hoping it's 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 action packed. So um, I just thought it would be cool to kind of talk about not the whole season or what we expect from from even the first eight, but just just the opening 100th this episode. episode. Yeah, the, the premiere, right? Yeah, yeah. Do we um, uh, do we know how long it is? I believe it's it might you know what I should I should have I should have looked for that. Um, eh, I'm matter. assuming it may be I'm assuming it may be uh, they usually what an extra half hour or seven so, and right? a half Sometimes minutes we get on those. Yeah. Whatever. So who? So you stumped me. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> First question. <laughs> First question. Stumped you, bitch. Next. Yeah. No. Yeah. Um, so basically, like I said, I w- I'm I'm really excited for this for this season, and especially episode 100. Um, I'm sure I already showed you. We already been getting some leaked um, video and some images, uh, of course, of, uh, so of the trailers as well. But we saw that opening that opening scene. That's uh, a remake of of the first episode with Rick and. Um, and Carl, Carl. Mm-hmm. so I'm, you know, just getting these little teases really, really amped me up. And, really get you, um, really get your juices from Really, really puts a little, a little stiffy inside the pants, right? I got gotcha. you. Yeah, so I wanted to pose some, some questions to you, and uh, obviously the people that are watching, I would love for you guys to comment in the video below. But basically, I want to just break down episode 100. So uh, in this episode, um, I definitely feel that that some time will pass. Uh, I don't think it's just going to leave off exactly um, from from the end of, of season seven with the Shiva attack and Alexandria and the hilltop and everybody coming to to Rick and Carl's aid. Um, so I'm assuming that there's going to be some time that's passing. If it's a week, if it's a couple weeks, if it's even a month or or even a little bit longer. But I think there's they, we're going to need some time for us to gather and prepare for the for the onslaught. Um, so I wanted to ask you, um, wh- what do you think about that? You think we're going to start? exactly where we left off or can you see and agree with me that we might have some time uh, for them for everybody to kind of gather up and and unite yeah i know? think i think you're right at first i was like nah man there ain't gonna be any time but then i'm realizing you know what though they they, they got hit pretty hard in the in yeah. the finale yet they did rally and they did push them back but they were still hit pretty hard like you know, uh, Rick was busted up. Like everyone, they, there was a Michonne, lot of Michonne was busted up. Yeah, with that, it was with, with that fight, and it was kind of a mess. So, yes, I think you know after seeing all these trailers and all the footage and all the stuff, saying, yeah, oh, we're we're gonna fight and we're gonna win and we've been this far and both. Yeah, he's definitely mm-hmm. yeah. So there's a little bit of time. I definitely agree with that. Yeah, yeah. I also you know at the end of the episode we see um, Rick and Maggie and and. Um, Ezekiel and they're and they're speaking to the whole group, oh, yeah, kind of uniting everybody as mm-hmm. one. So I think there'll be like a little bit of um, of just learning who each other is, the different groups kind of merging and 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 I, like I said, you know, just just coming together. Yeah, and, you know, absolutely. Um, a, a big a big question that we've been getting, I've been getting asked a lot of questions too from from uh, people that I work with, and 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 even some questions that that people have been posing on on other videos. Do we think that um, Negan Negan's going to attack them, or will Rick have some strategy um, to to come into play to to possibly attack another outpost? We've seen them do that in the past. Um, what do you think will uh, will happen with that? Do you feel that um, we're going to get the Negan coming to exa- Alexandria, or possibly Hilltop, uh, or yeah, all right, or the so- Kingdom? I think um, I think well, I think Rick's gonna play it smarter this time, considering that attacking an outpost didn't work so well for them. I mean, they yeah. did it, and, yeah, and they succeeded in that, but it you know it led to two two family members dying. So I yeah. think what I think Rick using the resources of the of the hilltop and and especially the kingdom who've been yeah. dealing with them 
on a somewhat amicable basis. Yeah. You know, without, you know, besides before Morgan got there or whatever the hell the case, but they, I think Rick's going to use them, all his resources to scout, to make a plan. I think he's going to have a plan as to how to attack. And I think he's going to make it, he's going to do it systematically. Mm -hmm. He's not going to rush in. He's not going to, but he's also going to have a defense plan as well. And don't forget, we have the garbage pail kids. We've got the garbage people that are on yeah. Negan's side. Exactly. I think that after... Aren't they? Yeah. No, of course. The, yeah, absolutely. They're on Negan's side. I think that after after season seven ended, um, Negan finally... We finally saw uh, a bit of a break in Negan, like a oh shit kind of um, yeah. thought, especially when Rick kind of was in his face and said, dude, you have no clue. You, you guys are, you guys yeah. are dead. Um, uh, I think Shiva was a huge... Um, that left a huge imprint on Negan. So that's why I kind of go with um, uh, there being some delay, there being some time in this first, in this episode, in, in episode one, or that, that um, without getting into, cause I didn't want to get into what, what the rest of the episodes or the, what the whole season or the half season may get into. But initially in this, in this 100, I can see a lot of the gathering, a lot of the scavenging, a lot of, of the plan preparation. making right a lot yeah, of preparation yeah. um, listen we have three heads now speeches you know, you have, yeah you have the kingdom you have uh maggie in, in charge of the hilltop you have rick now will there be butting of heads or anything like that will there be some some kind of um disagreements in planning who's going to be the one to step up is even a good question do you think that ezekiel um, Maggie will take a step back and let Rick lead, or is it going to be not necessarily lead uh, the final say? Um, what do you? What do you? Yeah, I think I think uh, they are. I think Ezekiel. I think could because Rick's the one that kind of was that approached everyone at the time mm-hmm. to get them to go. Maggie's going to follow Rick regardless. Yeah. Uh, although, and they will follow Maggie. Now, I mean, we're not. We're not. We still have. Uh, uh, you know what? What's his name from the hilltop? I can't remember his name now, but the the prior leader of the hilltop. Oh God, why am I blanking on his name? Oh, um, uh, holy shit! Anyway, exactly. <laughs> uh, I want to say Daniel. It's not Daniel. No, it's not Daniel. That's fear. Uh, um, we have him yes. still. The douchebag that hid in the house. Yeah, he's still he's still there. So Maggie's not necessarily like like people are following her and everything, but so she's not really in place just yet. Like and obviously in the comics, there's something something happens that see I'm looking forward to that. I think I think you know what like happens, a double right? like a double cross, yeah. You, you know what happens, right? Yes. Spoiler alert! I'm just gonna say it. Uh, she ends up killing him. Yeah. Uh, so why can't oh, I'm so sorry, guys? Yeah, it's a, it's annoying me that wow, that... <laughs> so many names. That's why there's. Just, uh, I'm just coming off Fear of the Walking Dead. There's so many names. Um, I keep calling. I want to call him Mason, but that was his name in 24 when he was in 24 as the director of CTU. Anyway, yeah. So we, we still have him in there. And in the comics, she ends up killing him because he attempts to take control back from her. And okay. she's not having that. And I would love to see that happen. Is that going to happen in this episode? I don't know. But yeah. I think that's going to be a subplot. So again, no, the, everyone's going to f- listen. They're just and Rick's not going to be a dictator, you know. No, no. He's, I, but I, he's going to be like I think. I mean, are they going to butt heads? Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? But yeah. at this point, so I, I, think, I can you know, see. I can see a lot of that. Yeah. Um, I can see a lot of that. I think that we will. Um, we will see. Uh, I'm not sure if we'll see um, on a on a large scale of a of a battle or. Or um, maybe while they're out, maybe you know. Listen, we saw Carl out on his own driving this van in that in that teaser video. So obviously they're they're so out like, there. What are they looking, doing, right? You know, I, or just just the fact that Carl's out there alone um, is, is is it gives me a signal that um, maybe both sides are are planning and and getting ready, and that's why possibly rick allows call to go out on his own you know what i mean for it to be such treacherous times and they're so close to this war they are potentially in a war um how cool would rick be uh letting call do that so did call yeah. sneak off you know did call run off and say I, I you know he had a gas can 
we need gas for a generator. We need gas for the vehicles that we have. So, right. so who knows what um, what's going to happen uh, throughout the throughout the season? Obviously, you know, no one knows. But but just initially, I think it's a lot of preparation, a lot of planning for the war, a lot of fortification of the different um, of the different compounds. Um, I don't want to really want to go too too crazy. I don't well, listen. Let's let first keep... of all, his name's Gregory. Gr- yeah, Xander Berkeley. God, forgot, isn't, don't you Gregory. don't you hate that? I hate when it. You can't remember shit. Sorry, and then guys. All of a sudden, once they say the, oh my god, how did I not? Yeah. How did I not um, remember that? But so yeah. this is so you got it, but you got to think about what The Walking Dead does, um, mm. and which is so for this. Th- so th- you're going to see both. You're going to see preparation. I think you're going to see pre- we're going to see preparation on both sides. Yeah. We're getting a lot of Negan doing a lot of Negan things. Hey, you're gonna shit your pants. Blah 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 blah. blah. Um, let me ask you this: Do you think we're gonna have any rogue, any rogue characters go and try and do their own thing and this and that? And I mean, Carl did that last season, and but I don't, I don't know, I don't know so much. I don't think we had it, but I mean, maybe, maybe um, by the end of the. You know, without getting getting further than just this first episode, I can see maybe not on necessarily a rogue character on on the good guy side, on the on the Alexandrian side, but I think that a big wild card. If you want to do a little wild card segment, I think the wild card um, for, for, to answer your question would be um, uh, Dwight. Dwight. Well, we still have Dwight. Yeah, Dwight definitely. Yeah. I think like- Dwight. I think Eugene. Even I hope that Eugene. You know, I watch. I went back and watched some of our some of our um, our previous Walking Dead videos from from last season, just to kind of um, gather some some uh, refresh, a little refresher course. And and I was so upset in the live reaction watching Eugene um, leading, being one on one of the first trucks when they first came to Alexandria's gates and stuff like that. So I'm wondering. I think he's going to be a big wild card too. Uh, what what do you think? I mean, obviously, yeah, no, I agree. You I know, think... I mean, look at Sasha last season; she was a big rogue kind of character. Her and Rosita. Uh, well, that's the thing. They're gonna. I think he's gonna be. I think Rick's gonna be like, look what happened to everyone who tried to do this on their own. We can't do this on our own, so let's stop. Exactly. So People we're gonna are be together. smart enough and to understand. Listen, um, I hate to keep saying the word preparation, but I think that's definitely gonna be in everybody's mind, and I think everybody, for the most part, uh, will. Uh, will understand that these are these are some some crazy times and who knows but what about jesus you know mm-hmm. think he can sneak around you think he can um i don't think again possibly... i don't think anyone's gonna go rogue i think unless yeah. it's unless he's on a legit reconnaissance mission mm-hmm. you know which not he very to, well not to be. not to uh, init- not to, to to attack not to fire no him. no he's gonna Just he, to it's, scout. he's gonna scout yeah he's gonna like but he yeah. has a lot of information that's what i'm saying yeah. like they all have their own information yeah about well, about negan and, and what's going on in their movements but i i think we can expect something from negan in this yeah. episode meaning he's going to be like, well, I've got something for them. And he's going to like, the episode will end with like, oh, crap. All right. Yeah, yeah. I see where he's going. Yeah. Watch um, out for him. Kind yeah. Of thing. So yeah. Uh, did you have any other questions for me? Did you have any other things? Um, not really. Um, just one one little last thing was, I, you know, we were hoping so much, and I'm hoping uh, in this episode that, that we're still going to get, a, we get I, I feel 100% we're going to get a lot of action in this season. Season, could, yeah. Um, in this episode, though, I could see um some kind of smaller little little battle a little i come across Skirmish. a handful mm-hmm. a handful of negan's men or or possibly like you said before with the garbage pail kids um running into them i can i i definitely think they're going to want to show us some kind of some kind of battle or some some small kind of fight um with the good and the bad because you know what we, we Simon. Of, Simon's out there too. We we got a lot of dull moments last year. We got a lot of episodes that we weren't too thrilled with. The in between episodes. Um, yeah, I'm thinking they're gonna want to come out with a bang. So I do feel that we're gonna get some kind of war. If that's somebody on the road, not a battle. Someone on the road we come across. Um, we're going to search here. We're gonna take out or or possibly even walkers. Maybe they'll be. Um, you know, of, of some people out, and they encounter um, some 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 trouble with with the, with the walkers. We, we always talk about we want to see more of them, so maybe we'll get get a little bit of that. Well, but. you know, so so this is just something that I just wanted to bring up because mm-hmm. 
a lot of a lot of a lot of the people you know people on the internet the internet's is there everybody there's a lot of people that are like talking crap about the walking dead and how the storylines are just all cyclical and it's all mm-hmm. the, you know it's all the same stuff and it's all you know um they're walking in circles and they it's like yes the show has the same it's the same themes it gets criticized for being like in the first couple of seasons it was like oh my god there's death at every turn yeah but you know from this undead menace but i still feel like it still is like that but you know it's like once you learn how to deal with the dead they they don't change other than a horde which yeah. you can see you see how you know but even that gets criticized so it's like this show is getting criticized they, and it's they like, took a step back the uh, walkers took a step back to yeah. have the biggest threat being but you know what though but that's but that's what brings the drama you could you, you uh, want to do uh, just a zombie threat then you make a movie for two hours there's just a zombie threat but yeah. a show that's going to last this long you have 100 episodes and yeah. you know the producers are like we want to do 100 more and people are like oh well then don't first of all don't watch a show then if you don't <laughs> yeah. like the show don't you don't have yeah. to watch it and you don't have to talk crap about it but do you think do you think that you're, they're getting some flack because of uh, the people being disappointed in fear. No, I think it's this one. I'm, no, I think these people are specifically talking about this one and specifically no, I, being I mean, like. But I think so you don't feel that there's any kind of reasoning that. No, I think I think that's upset that, with uh, the Walking Dead I think or it potentially tend, getting. I think it, it it lends it a little bit to it. I think mm-hmm. yes, you're right. I think I think that maybe people are worried. Maybe people are worried that a show that. I'm. I may even be a little bit worried. I'm sure you may be even a little bit worried that a show that we love so much and that we've been invested in in these last seven, now eight, you know, coming up on eight seasons, that it may start to disappoint us. And we've had disappointing episodes. If you guys look back and watch some of our live reactions or our reviews of um, episode uh, of episode of season seven. You'd see that we were very uh, disgusted in certain 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 episodes. So uh, I'm hoping it doesn't ever get to that point because I just love this genre and I love the walkers. I love the zombies. And but you know what about think about this? One of the reasons why you and I were I mean we're in a very we're in a we're in one group of people that watch the show and we're the comic yeah. readers. Now, granted, you're not as far, but the point is, is yeah. you've been you you you've read many of them mm-hmm. and. For like for us, we know what's coming. We know what's coming, yeah. and it's still and, so refreshing. Right? And, but we want to see great. it. That's the thing. We want to yeah. see the our TV versions of these people go through those same situations. Yeah. So it's it's very it's a very unique show in that we already have this roadmap mm-hmm. that they're essentially mm-hmm. following. And why wouldn't they follow it? Why would you? You know what happens when you go off book. You know yeah. what happens when you go off book. Okay. First of yeah. all, look at the look at fear. Fear has ha, doesn't have a book, and it's just all over the place. Yeah. Having I I think having the comic, especially and if and if for people that don't read the comic, like read it. <laughs> well, yeah, but start to fucking read it. Because no, but it's my really point good, is the people really that graphic. don't read the comic don't don't get it that they're on a path now. Like they've been watching this show, so when something new happens, and they're and we're like. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That we knew that was coming because of this, mm-hmm. and they're like, "Oh my god, never saw that coming," you know, like it or not. Yeah. We're on a path. Like we're all together watching this show on a path because there's a path ahead. And you know, frankly, I'm fine with that. I, I enjoy what's going on in the comics. I really like that, and I'm glad that you know, once you get over the different characters being replaced and this and that, like the major plot points, like it's amazing what's happening in the comics. And that I want to see uh, that on TV. I want to see a live version of that in the world created for TV. I don't, well, I think they're very good know? at that. I think yeah. they're very good at that. I think they always tried to give us the major plot points from the comics, but keep their own, but, but do their own ability. Because, right. Because exactly, they have their because, own. Exactly. Right. We have characters that are huge, huge players now and, and are still alive that are, that have been, dead in the comic books way, way back. Yep. Um, there's, you know, there's little subtle changes. Certain things happen to one character in the book that happened to maybe another, another character, character on the yeah. show. Yeah. So I think they they were always pretty good at still leading us from the comics, but still giving us something fresh and something cool that we may not have expected to one character or, you know, or yeah. another. 
Yeah. Either way, you know, I, you know, shame on you people who say bad things about it. If you don't like yeah. the show, don't you don't have to critique it to the yeah. point where it's like, "Oh, it's the just whatever, man. It's a zombie show. You can't and you can't if there was too much zombies, Mike, they'd be like, "Oh, there's too many zombies. What about the humans?" <laughs> just stop. Yeah, yeah, I can see. I can see just after stop. all is said and done. I agree with you. I can see How many, after First of all, you once you kill all the zombies in the area, you're not going to have another 30,000 zombies attacking you the next day. Like, they, I mean, yes, they'll migrate and stuff, but mm -hmm. once you clear an area, like, you're not going to have the zombies there for a while. Like, that's just yeah. how it works. It's like, I don't no, know. It's, it's, I'm it's rationalizing true. a science fiction freaking fantasy yes. thing, whatever. I, I can cares. see in the, I can see in the future, um, maybe past, who knows, season nine, season 10. I can see to get back to those initial first, second seasons where, you know, we're on the farm, you have, you know, everything seems cool. I can see everything seems cool in Alexandria and then all of a sudden bang, the biggest threat, maybe for the whole season, maybe for a half season, um, big old hordes coming. So without spoiling, I, I I'm going to, I'm going to expect that maybe for, um, uh, next season, that we're going to just get something that we haven't seen for a long time and yeah. that the humans will take that step back and that we're going to have to see how everyone is going to, is going to take care of the, the, the threat, the, the major threat, the reason why we're in apocalypse to begin with no. the reason why we love the show from the beginning, dude, I love the show. Oh, from well, the there's, beginning. When, there's, when there's... the walkers were the first, you know, I've explained to you so many times how much I have enjoyed, you know, just Rick peeking through uh, when Morgan was in the house with him initially in the first episode and, and peeking through and seeing those walkers bumping into the cars and stuff, just that initial threat and not have to just always worry about someone pointing a gun, but, but just well, they, this listen, walker that wants to, if they continue, your face, you know, and yeah, if they continue going the comic route, we've got a, we've got a, a new walker threat coming. Yeah. After, yeah. you know, I, I would love to see it if it does in fact happen, which, you know, uh, maybe we'll have to put some spoiler stuff up there, but maybe, um, maybe it lasting, uh, not just an, a couple episodes or something. I could see how, what, how would you feel about that? Would you feel, um, would you be excited if we got a good half season, um, of just that threat or, you know what I mean? Oh, we do you have to worry about the Negans or or these people for a little bit. You mean bit. this season? No, 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 in the future because I don't think that's going to happen. In yeah, I day, think but... yeah, man, I think I think when yeah, I I I'd be fine with that. Once once the human threat is, you know, kind of goes away for a little bit. Then you have the other threat, right? Yeah. yeah. It's always going to be one or the other at this point because you still don't forget this is rebuilding in a world in a dead mm -hmm. world. So now you have to rebuild and that's, you know. Yep. Anyway, yep. Let's 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 just let's call it there. Uh, we could I, I mean we could talk about this all night, but yeah, uh, no, I did have one little thing I wanted yeah. to we can get into quick. Episode one hundred deaths predictions. Who do you think? We think we'll see anybody? Anything? You know what, anyone? man? No, I I don't think anyone's gonna die. No, I don't think anyone's gonna die in this episode. Okay. And if it is, it's gonna not be any of the major. Players. I'm not saying a major player. No, I'm not saying a major player. But no. No quick little uh, theory or prediction you want to throw out there just for shits and giggles? No, nah, because I thought about it, and I'm like, in the premiere, I mean, maybe someone will get hurt, I, but I don't know who would get hurt because we have so many characters now. We have this, no. we have A characters, B characters, C characters. Ah, I don't know, man. I, I, I don't think that they're going to do any of that. Uh, maybe, maybe someone will get hurt, but I don't think anyone's going to die. Well, like I said, I, I kind of think that we... You know, we're expecting an action-packed episode. How are we going to get that action if it's just preparation and planning? So I had a couple little ideas. I'm just going to throw them out. Okay. See what you think. Ezekiel is walking. He's possibly, him and his group are going, heading back to the kingdom. Walker attack, something like that. Shiva. Oh, you think Shiva might get killed. I'm thinking with the budget, we saw how much of a budget scenario yeah um, we had last year with the deer and we we kind of get uh we kind of got where all the money was 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 put in with that last episode and shiva pouncing i'd hate for it to happen i don't necessarily think 
it will happen because I would really like to see her be involved in a war, in a battle, um, and and just Shiva jumping around and pouncing around. But um, I was thinking, hmm, can we see Shiva go? Can we see Negan argue with with Eugene on his side and possibly Eugene going? Right. Um, or like you mentioned earlier, with these garbage pail kids and these garbage pail chicks, will we see Rick in the group? Will we see maybe Maggie in the group? Will we see whomever it is with the good guys bumping in to some to 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 the enemy? I, I really feel like we're going to get uh, some action in this. Um, maybe it, it might be like it might be like it might be like uh, one of the groups that you know gets into a thing with with the garbage people. I can see the the. You know? do, I don't. Did we get a name from her? I, we haven't been good with names tonight, but of of her, the the leader. Did we get a name from her? Whoever, who cares? Um, I would I would love to see her get get axed. We did get a name. I can't remember her name now. The up 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 people, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So those are my. I, you know, I wanted to write down um a, a few little little possible death predictions. So I thought, you know, let me know what you guys think. Yeah, obviously, let us know what you guys think down below and, and uh, give us your expectations. What are you expecting from this? Of course, of course. You can one. always get us Yeah, you can always get us um, on our Facebook at Third Person Pod. Write down um, all your ideas there as well. But we love getting uh, primarily f- from the YouTube account. And when you see the videos pop up, just write your comments below. We'll try to get to them as quick as we can. Yep. Me and Chris have been crazy crazy busy there's a lot of stuff going on so we're trying to answer them as quick as we can but we'd love to hear from you guys uh what you're expecting from from uh episode 100 throw in what you think and what you theorize for the the first half too if you'd like it doesn't matter we'll we'll like to get to all that kind of stuff and and uh don't forget to check out uh our q a we did a a q a at the end of season seven um about what people expect and 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 those kind of things of season eight and all these cool cool little questions check them out let us know um if you enjoyed that as well so yeah third person pod instagram facebook youtube of course and don't forget to check us out on itunes that's it guys once again thank you very much uh enjoy the 100th episode of walking dead i know we We will will. (laughs) and uh can't wait we'll see you we'll see you next week with uh with all the videos for that so have a good one guys and we'll see you then peace